Welcome back to my kitchen where today I'm sharing a recipe which you guys have asked for and it's one of my favorites like all the others are and as usual it is going to be really simple no complicated recipe here and I'm going to just show you how to make a beautiful chili paneer and you know what I'm going to say before I start please do go subscribe to the channel uh, to my channel click on the bell button so you get a notification and you don't miss any good food right so starting with paneer of course and here I've got 400 grams of uh, ready paneer um, if you find that the paneer you buy from shops is quite hard what I've done is I've soaked it in warm water for 10 minutes and it just makes it nice and soft and if you can't find paneer you can make your own uh, recipes on the channel I'll leave the link in the description box so the paneer I'm going to just slice it into small cubes you can uh, kind of decide the size you want and then all of it goes into a bowl two tablespoon of corn flour half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. All of it goes in and you just mix it really, really well so that all the paneer is coated in that um, spicy corn flour. That's done. I'm going to move there and just shallow fry it. A hot pan with some sunflower oil once it's piping hot. That's the time we throw our paneer in. Now this is looking beautifully golden. They look so appetizing. You can eat it actually as it is with some chutney. But I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna take it out on a plate with some kitchen rolls so it absorbs all the extra oil. Once that is done, I'm actually gonna change the pan, get a slightly deeper pan here. A little bit of oil, maybe two tablespoons. And the first thing that goes in is one red chili and a green chili. You can use the tiny ones but today I only have the big ones. As soon as it goes in, it sizzles and that's when we add our ginger and garlic. So I've got a really nice big piece of ginger, an inch piece of ginger and three cloves of garlic, which I've grated, you can finely chop. All of that goes in and just make sure that you keep um, stirring it, otherwise it will burn quite quickly. Then we throw in two red onions. Keep the heat high and keep stirring and it will only take a couple of minutes. Throw in uh, some spring green onions and then goes in one red pepper, one green pepper and one yellow pepper. Mix it up very, very well. You don't want it going really, really soft. You still want a lovely crunch in it. Now I'm going to add the sauces. So. One and a half tablespoon of soya sauce goes in. Um, I tend to use dark soya sauce and half a tablespoon of vinegar. Chili and garlic paste here. Two tablespoon, heaped tablespoon of this sauce into it. And also a tablespoon of just a red chili sauce. Uh, but if you don't want to go this spicy, then you can reduce it. Now a quick good mix add 300 ml of boiling water and then just turn it around quite quickly and in this little bowl i'm going to mix a tablespoon and a half of corn flour with a tablespoon and a half of cold water and just make a little paste i want the dish to have a layer of sauce around it to coat the paneer and the peppers add to this piping hot mixture as soon as you add it it will thicken the sauce really really quickly instantly actually and then once that is done i'm going to throw in all the fried paneer pieces in it so all of that goes in there add just a good pinch of salt and a good pinch of black pepper good mix and it is ready so what we'll do is just for a few seconds let it bubble up so it and just mix it so everything's beautifully coated and the shine on this is just amazing it smells incredible it is really good with some egg fried rice or some chicken fried rice and both the recipes are on my channel i will leave the links below it is a match made in heaven that one it's ready to plate up oh it smells good um what i can say is that this is a good uh, quantity to serve four to five people uh no this is not my single portion but i'm just gonna try it oh it's the paneer is so nice and soft but there's a little bit of bite in the pepper and i love the red onions in this mm. oh that got a kick to it 
which is what you want hmm so easy to make guys you must definitely give this a go give us a thumbs up if you like the recipe don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next week with a brand new recipe if you have any requests i do try and make it it's not always straight away but if you have any requests leave me a comment bye i might make that egg fried rice after all